that just go on throughout the whole song, like for instance, Metallica songs, you know, Master of Puppets. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm in such a good mood. I hope you guys are in a good mood as well. And I hope that we will actually be able to have bang again because I'm so excited for heavy music. And I hope, well actually I don't have to hope because this song was being recommended by the man himself, Steve Mangini. Shout out to you, man. Thank you very much for recommending me this song. So again, I don't have to hope because every time you, well, introduce me to a new band, it was always a banger of his song. So prepare your necks. It probably is going to be a good and heavy song. We are talking about the German metal band Leaf's Eyes with their brand new song Chain of the Golden Horn. Sounds super interesting if you ask me. So it's the official music video, let's dive right in. Before I hit the play button, you know what you have to do. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and also make sure to click on that little bell button. And now I think it's time to head bang. Let's do this right now guys, here we go. Again, Leaf's Eyes with Chain of the Golden Horn. Brand new song, just dropped a few days ago. Let's do this. All right guys, and let's go. I was about to pause it already, but this is just amazing right now. to pause it right here because this is too much epicness at once let me start off man when i first saw the beginning the intro of this video i had to laugh because i have two friends of mine who every time i introduce them to new symphonic metal bands or just just in general new european metal bands a lot of times they're like oh those mid-age metal bands again and this song might be exactly what they think of or talk about you know because you just saw what i mean at the beginning those people carrying that treasure you know she is singing somewhere on the castle it really just has that mid-age feeling that time frame so i can really see why some people always think about that as mid-age you know metal bands so that was something really funny now let's head over to the music you guys should probably know now that i am a huge fan when it comes to really groovy guitarists and in this case again we're gonna rewind it a bit that guitar riff was awesome because it included a few breaks here and there and that just made the whole thing a lot better in my opinion of course you can have amazing guitar riffs that just go on throughout the whole song like for instance metallica songs you know master of puppets <laughs> There are those exceptions, but when it comes to metal like this, I really appreciate it and I love it when there are some breaks in between that just gives everything that bouncy, groovy feeling. So we're actually gonna rewind it. I think it's gonna be here. There we go. That's not what I mean. I think it's coming soon. That's exactly what I mean. Break. Break. Awesome. Yeah. 
And this part is really interesting because that really is a completely different style, man. Like, this is almost death metal. His voice. By the way, I've never heard about this band, I've never heard about her. What's her name? Again to that riff. Also guys, pay attention to the background, I mean you hear those layers, those harmonies, really amazing. What a contrast. It really reminds me of, oh man, what was the name? The singer of Six Feet Under, Chris Barnes. Yes. And this video is awesome. It really sounds and looks like, well, actually, it looks like it was being shot somewhere in Transylvania. And we probably will experience a cameo by Dracula himself soon. <laughs> there we go, back to the mid age Viking style. Nice transition. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> when I hear that again. That was awesome! What? <laughs> I never heard that before. <laughs> Alright guys, that was it. Leaf's Eyes with Chain of the Golden Horn. Brand new song a few days ago, it just came out. Thank you Steve for always finding and introducing me to new bands. This is really amazing and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now let's talk about the music, man. This was one of those songs that is, in my opinion, a very well-balanced song. I mean, we talked about it before. This was a song where each element, you know, it didn't matter if it's a guitar, the second guitar riff, the lead guitar, the drums, whatever it was, even the background vocal layers, her voice, the bass line, whatever it is, everything was well balanced. It was put together perfectly. Now, this is really important because a lot of times, you know, you have a band in particular, because we react to mainly bands in this case, where there is a superstar guitar player, there is a superstar drummer, there is a superstar singer. So in those cases, you can always see and hear that 80% of that song is just you know being created around that person because that's just the superstar of the band so i'm always a fan when you hear a band that is really just put together perfect like in this case because again it's a band it's a unit you know and that really reminds me of those bands from like i don't know like 30 40 50 years ago i remember when my mother and i were talking about bands 
every time she talked about a band, for instance, in that case, Korn, she was always talking about Korn as him. You know, Korn was Jonathan Davis. And I was like, nah, that's not the case. But that's because she's older. And back then, a lot of times, that band was just a background band and the main person was the lead singer. So again, that's really important to have a band like this where everyone is in the center. Same thing applies to those bands. When you buy a poster or a shirt, whatever it is, you always have that superstar in the center. Pay attention to it. So again, if you have a band and the lead singer is maybe on the right, maybe in the back or something like that, that is really something important because it's not that common anymore. I always liked when it's a unit and it's not just about one person in particular. So that's just something that really popped up right now. Really cool song. Really funny to hear exactly those Viking folk elements. Uh, same thing that my friends just told me about. Those European symphonic metal and mid-age uh, metal songs. So that was exactly one of those songs. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you, Steve. Take care. Let me know what songs I should react to next by Leaf's Eyes. And also, please let me know the name of that singer. What's her name? I would actually really like to figure out more about them, especially since they're German. And that's it, man. Take care. Rock on. See you next time. Bye-bye.